What up, what up, Wimbush here. And ever since yesterday, when I posted up my tutorial on how to bring Redshift into Unreal Engine, a lot of people have been asking me, how exactly do they install a plugin? So without further ado, let me walk you right through it. So first you would go to maxon.net. This is where we're gonna download the Cineware plugin for Unreal Engine. So what you wanna do is come right here to where it says products. I'm just gonna left click on this and come right down here to where it says Cineware left click here and that's going to bring you to this screen right here in which i'm just going to scroll down into where i see cinemaware for unreal click on learn more and then if you scroll down here to the bottom you can actually see all the plugins that correlate with your version of unreal engine now i'm going to be showing you 5.2 but feel free to use 5.1 or 5.0 if you need to so all you have to do is download the plugin by left clicking right here and you can see in the top right hand corner is downloading now once it's done downloading and it's inside your windows explorer you would then come over and just right click on this to extract it it's going to download a zip file and then i'm just going to extract it right here and now we have our folder cinemaware for unreal double click right here and then actually if you double click on it you should see all these folders inside of here now what i'm going to do is actually go back up one level i'm going to click on this folder right here where it says cinemaware for unreal i'm going to hit Control c just to copy it and then from there we want to look for where we have unreal engine installed on our computer for me i have it installed on my c drive so i'm going to come right here where i have my c drive come down here to program files come down here to epic games and i'm going to be using version 5.2 double click on this and then come down here to where it says engine and then down here to where it says plugins now this is a step that a lot of people miss you want to make sure that you have a folder that says marketplace within your window browser here so if i scroll down here to the m's you can see that I actually don't have the marketplace folder in here. So all I have to do is actually make a new folder and I'm just going to name this one marketplace. So just capital M and then the rest of the word like so. And now I have a folder here called marketplace. I'm going to double click on this one and then I'm just going to hit control V to paste it in the folder here. And now we have the Cineware for Unreal plugin inside of our folder. So again, you want to make sure that you go to plugins make a folder that says marketplace and then you paste your cinemaware for unreal engine right in there and then once you open up unreal you should be good to go so now we have unreal engine version 5.2 opened up i'm going to go to my top left up here where we have the edit and then i'm going to come down here to plugins and then within this window i'm just going to start typing in cinema and now we should see cinemaware by maxon right here you want to make sure that you have this version number or later and this is going to allow you to use the redshift materials within unreal engine of course a lot of people are saying that they were trying to use this one right here this one will not work the data smith c40 importer this one is no longer being updated you want to make sure you have the latest and greatest directly from max on themselves and you should be good to go from there now if you want to see how we can actually bring in redshift materials into unreal engine make sure you check out my tutorial that i posted yesterday i'll leave a link up here or you'll see a box somewhere around here and thank you for everybody that's been showing me mad support working with cinema 40 into unreal engine it's been quite a journey and it's only been getting better so if this helped you out make sure you leave me a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next tutorial i see you soon take care